Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot, on Twitter. Today, we are breaking down the newest member of the Philadelphia 76ers. That is Michael Foster Jr. Guys, if you love the Sixers, smash that subscribe button. Let's go. All right, let's break down Michael Foster Jr. This guy's got a wingspan of six foot 11, a standing reach of eight foot eight. This was the number seven recruit in the 2021 ESPN 100 rankings of the top high school prospects. In April of 2021, the six foot eight forward announced he would join the G League Ignite, passing up offers from Florida State and Georgia. Last season playing for the Ignite, he averaged 16.3 points, 10.4 boards and 1.9 blocks per game during the team's regular season exhibitions. When it comes to Michael Foster Jr., it's all about projection. At his very best, Foster is a project on both ends of the floor who will likely need more time at the end of the NBA bench or in the G League to excel at the next level. Let's look at the pros of Michael Foster Jr. Number one, this guy brings very good measurables with intriguing upside. This is a high level athletic finisher. Measured standing six foot nine in shoes with a 237 pound frame and a seven plus foot wingspan, Foster has solid size for a forward, can power up and play above the rim on the move. Foster uses his plus frame to his advantage around the rim as evident by his 1.25 points per finishing opportunity, good for 78th percentile. This is a modern big man who can handle the ball, create offense for himself and for others, and hit the outside shot. He has a good looking jump shot with three point range and a very smooth looking release. He can score with his back to the basket and uses his size and power well to gain separation. Foster offers value on the offensive end as a potential small ball center, and I just think he has an intriguing foundation of shooting, motor, athleticism to run the floor, and a willingness to be coached. Let's take a closer look at Michael Foster Jr. and his intriguing upside. So how'd that pass actually get there? Michael Foster Jr. on the baseline. Racks. And the overtime didn't help. No. Here's the start of the second half as Michael Natalie McClung gives it up to Hardy. Hardy has it. Going up. Oh, give me that. Attempt and then we get to Khan's. First up, he's not a great shooter. Jumpers nearly accounted for a third of his shot attempts last year, and he averaged just 0.71 points per jump shot in the half court. That is good for 14th percentile. While he's got nice touch on his turnaround jumper in the post, he's very clearly much more comfortable putting the ball on the floor and getting going in that transition rather than in the half court. While he only shot 1.3 attempts per game from beyond the arc, he made them at a near 28% clip and the mechanics check out. There's plenty of evidence to suggest the NBA 3-ball is part of his bright future, as evident by his 78.5% from the free throw line. If he can continue to work on his current game, specifically improving his efficiency from the perimeter, then he should be a solid rotation player in the future. The second thing Michael Foster Jr. has to improve upon is his defense. Foster projects to add value by helping from the weak side as he did for the Ignite, using his insane leaping ability off two feet to rise and swat shots into the stands. He averaged two blocks per game despite not being the most traditional rim protector in any sense. This is by no means a primary rim protector for a team or a team's last line of defense. Foster is kind of in between two positions defensively. Uh, he's got pretty good IQ. Uh, he's got the ability to get back in transition to block shots on runouts, but this is all potential. Michael Foster Jr. will surely need some time getting coached up with the Delaware Blue Goats, and to his credit, he's got major upside if it all clicks. So that is a little bit about Michael Foster Jr. player comp. I'm looking at him as a Jamichael Green, Julius Randle hybrid. Uh, I really can't wait to see this guy play in the Summer League. Guys, if you love the Sixers, if you love the Sixers Summer League, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. Tons and tons of Sixers content on the way. Guys, thank you everyone for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Crockpot. Stay awesome, everyone.